Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I know it's been a while since my last video, and as I'm sure a lot of you will be aware, especially if you're within the Discord server, or if you've tried to look up any of my videos over the last month or so, my YouTube channel was taken down. Now, at the end of July, I think, I received notification from Google that my Gmail had been suspended. Now, the reason Google gave for my account suspension was that I had supposedly created my account with multiple other accounts to violate Google's policies, and this was likely done for a computer program or bot. And as I tried to explain to them with my dispute process, is that, you know, this account was created over nine months ago simply for my YouTube channel. It's only ever been used for my YouTube channel. All I do for, with the email is, you know, check if anyone's subscribed, check if anyone's left any comments, and I can get to reply to them as quickly as possible. And basically there was a very, very long process over several weeks, I think it lasted about a month when my channel was down. And yeah, Google make it extremely, extremely hard to actually get into contact with anyone within the organization. I think the only possible chat you have is with OneDrive. If you go into OneDrive and try and talk about anything else, you ask for you know contact numbers for someone within Gmail or within YouTube to speak to, they're helpless, literally. They will not give you any information. They'll tell you that there aren't any contact emails, aren't any contact phone numbers, there isn't another chat line you can go to. And the only way to you know dispute this in any sort of way is through the dispute service. And so I was using the dispute service and again, that was pretty useless. Several times I was giving my explanation in a lot of detail as to why I believe this was completely wrong. You know, I explained how I'd created this a long time ago never created any other account, only ever used it for YouTube, and that I definitely hadn't created, you know, accounts through a bot or a computer program. And every time I got the exact same response. And this went on, you know, back and forth for about four weeks. And as I was about to give up in my hope of getting that channel back, you know, I'd created a separate new channel where I was uploading my old videos again, which really wasn't picking up that quickly, which was a bit frustrating. But, you know, after those four weeks, just as I was about to give up, I thought that I would do a subject access request with Google. So in my latest uh, dispute, I put within, you know, I am making a subject access request. I would like to see, you know, clear evidence of where I've broken Google's policies. And I knew they wouldn't be able to have any because I'd been through all of Google's policies and I hadn't broken a single one. And I also asked them to give, you know, clear information as to what policies it was that they, well, that I had allegedly broke. And, you know, I wasn't really expecting much from this. I was thought it would take, you know, another few months to even get a response if I, if they were gonna allow a subject access request, which obviously they have to by law. Um, but then a few days later, I did get a notification from Google saying that I had my account back. Uh, they didn't give any explanation as to, you know, why this uh, dispute had passed and all the others had failed. Um, didn't give any explanation as to what policies I had broken, you know, what the other accounts that I was supposedly linked with were doing, and they haven't really given me any explanation at all since as to what I can do to prevent this happening in the future. Uh, so very frustrating in that sense, but very happy to have the account back, although slightly worried that something like this could happen again in the future, and I've got sort of no control over that. So just a warning for you guys that if this ever does happen, you know, please be sure to have joined the Discord server. Also follow me on Instagram as I will post updates within there. And yeah, especially make sure you're part of that Discord server, as if this does happen again, I'll be sharing all of the videos on there or on a new channel. And to make sure that you're up to date, it is the best place to be. And there is also a huge amount of free educational material that I share in there that I'm sure a lot of you will take value to. Now, this was really just a quick video to let you guys know that I'm back. And, you know, I will be back to posting a lot more regularly again. I know we have that back testing session that I was releasing just before the account went down. And I will be back to completing that. Uh, I have actually moved on with my back testing from the dates that we were doing. So I'm going to have to go back and redo those videos. But I will be doing that in the near future. And I will be trying to release videos a lot more regularly for you guys. So if you have any uh, suggestions or examples of videos that you would like me to do, any questions you have, be sure to drop them in the comments. I am going to be releasing a video over the next few days or so about the MyForex fund situation and sort of the future of prop firms. So if you have any questions about that specifically as well, be sure to let me know below. And as always, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thanks guys, good to be back.